Hello everybody and welcome to this very first Android tutorial. My name is George and uh, basically what we're going to do is a really brief introduction to Android uh, programming. So what do we need so we can start developing some Android applications? Uh, that is basically what we're going to discuss in this video. So the first thing that you will need is that you will need to know a little bit of uh, the Java programming language and that is because uh, every native and I really uh, want to mark that one like every native Android application uh, you develop is going to be uh, using uh, the Java programming language because that is how it is made so basically that's why and if you don't know Java I suggest you at least learn the syntax and some basic uh, intermediate uh, programming in Java be before you go to Android. Why is that? Because if you go to, uh, I don't know, if you want to program or develop some Android applications and you don't know Java, well, you're going to have a really, really hard time uh, with that because uh, all the programming is uh, based in Java. So that's it so <laughs> that's why I suggest you to know a little bit of Java and uh, for starting with Android if you already know Java then you're in the right place because we're going to see what uh, we need uh, to develop some Android applications so for that you will need an integrated development uh, environment so basically it's an IDE and you have uh, some options for example you can use Eclipse uh, and the ADT plugin uh, which is uh, the most uh, standard I think uh, for developing Android applications however since Android Studio came out I believe that Android Studio is really promising and also because uh, it's a really really a nice ID and, is, and it is especially built, um, built for making Android apps so I will really suggest to learn um, uh, how to program in Android using the Android Studio ID. So where do we start? Uh, first of all we will need to get the Android Studio uh, IDE so go ahead and type in Android Studio download in Google and the first link that you will get is getting started with Android Studio, Android Developers, this is the official website you can go over here and this site you will be able to download Android Studio for your uh, platform in my case it is for Mac however you can download it for Windows, Mac OS, Linux whatever and you just go ahead click on download accept the terms and conditions and download of course you, you would like to read this first um, after you download it you can just install it and that's it that's all you need now I have to uh, comment some things over here for developing with Android you will need something called uh, the SDK uh, basically this is the Android development kit however it, it, it comes integrated with Android Studio so when you have Android Studio I will just show you a little bit of that okay the development kit is basically um, is basically all the tools that you will need to develop and deploy Android applications now this is uh, Android Studio which is the the one that we're going to use uh, another thing you will need Java installed uh, to run this because this is a program based in Java and you can go to configuration configure over here and here it says SDK manager so this is a software development kit for Android go ahead and click this and um, you will see uh, the SDK manager, the Android SDK manager, which uh, basically will allow you to download the all the APIs. Available. Okay, I don't know what the hell just happened over there. Okay, forget that. Uh, but basically, it will allow you to download uh, all the tools for programming for Android. For example, the Android 4.4 API, and you can download also the API for. Um, basically every really important version of Android and you can also download um, some extras for example support libraries and all of that so go ahead and you can select one for example Android 4.4 and select every one of them and install the packages so you can run these applications and uh, okay well this is basically uh, the, what you need so you can run Android applications. Uh, another thing that you will need is that you would also be 
running in um, some kind of virtual machines uh, for Android for example if I made I will show you re really really fast uh, so you have an idea oh, we made a really simple application basically with nothing but uh, the point is that you will be able to run this on um, Android uh, virtual machines in your computer so you can run applications in real devices um, for example a smartphone or a tablet or something or you can emulate them in the in the computer um, also another thing that is really cool with uh, Android Studio is that it comes with the Gradle build system which basically is a way that allows you to uh, specify which API you're going to use or if you're going to import some libraries for example from Maven uh, so you can uh, basically uh, have more power when, or more libraries or whatever when you are developing Android applications um, okay okay this is a little bit slow okay it's loading it's fine uh, another thing when you're going to run Android applications uh, the virtual machines I will I was talking about is for example over here this icon you go ahead and click this and this is called the AVD manager and the AVD manager is basically uh, a virtual device of Android for example here this w this window will appear uh, you won't have this, you have to create a virtual device you can uh, go ahead and click new and basically you can um, I, I don't know, you, you can name your device, for example I'm going to call this device 1 and um, I'm going to select uh, for example Nexus 4 so this device will emulate uh, the Nexus 4 um, device and we can go ahead and target the API for example I would say I would target uh, Android 4.4 and press on OK and when we do that we are creating OK ignore that over there we are creating a virtual device that you can start and that you can also use to run your application your Android applications so you can see that we are starting an emulator and don't worry if I am going uh, too fast over here this is more like an introduction so you have some idea of what you're getting into it um, okay so that's it uh, this is uh, the virtual device it's a little bit uh, big however it needs to load so we can see a little bit more and you can see that it is booting right here uh, just like if we had a real device on our hands um, but you can also plug in uh, via USB your smartphone or your tablet and you can deploy your applications um, in your tablet or or I don't know your Android de uh, devices your physical Android devices so um, for developing Android uh, that's what I recommend uh, before we start you need to know a little bit of Java and you also will need uh, to use an integrated development environment I really recommend Android Studio why because I think it's going to be pretty much like the standard since it, since it is I don't know it's especially built for um, developing Android applications uh, also uh, well because because it's really cool and in, it integrates uh, the gradle build system also for designing it is a lot a lot better uh, you can go ahead and design your apps and you can see in the right side uh, your application and you can for example change this and see how it changes over here so that's why I recommend Android Studio so go ahead and install Android Studio install Java uh, learn Java and then come back here and see the following uh, tutorials I'll be hoping uh, to teach you a little bit more so that's it thanks and see you later